Hey, science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Ride Academy, and as you can see, Mr. Jimmy behind us is digging a hole. And if you're wondering why is he digging a hole, it's because we're going to use nature's natural forces to clean these bones. Normally, when you find bones on the side of the road, like roadkill, they're going to have all this strange stuff all over it. But there's a lot of mold, a lot of natural things that are already decomposing the flesh that's on the side of these bones. So I'm going to introduce somebody amazing. This this is Rowan. Hey science lovers, I'm Rowan. Becky is my mom. What will eat this underneath the soil? What we'd be getting is things like isopods, which roly-polies are a form of isopods, or creatures like springtails, which are little tiny little bugs. How long does it take? About half a year. You just gotta be patient. So what do they look like after you pull them out of the soil? These ones are ones that I pulled out and walked. So they still have a little bit of dirt along them, but I've mostly cleaned off the dirt, so they're kind of showing that creamy ivory color to them. What did you wash them up with? Just water. So after you take them out of the soil, after a couple months, Rowan washed them off with water, but there's a, a, a next step to get them even cleaner than this. Everyone likes to think of the white one. It normally involves them being sun bleached, which is they are lying up on top of the surface of the ground. The sun's cleaning them. It kind of does its own form of sterilization and turns them into a bright light. But if you don't want to sit there and leave them out in the sun, you will do hydrogen peroxide and leaving some buckets out in the sun. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.